In this video, I'm going to show how one can use Supermatrix and ActiveAI to view a churn prediction model with a few clicks using the Google Analytics data. So after installing Supermatrix and ActiveAI, you can go to Extensions and open Supermatrix. After Supermatrix is loaded, and you can have to log in uh, with your Supermatrix account. And after logging in, you can create a new query. So here I'm going to choose Google Analytics as the source of the query, and select the view of the analytics and the all the usage on a web app, and then. We select the date range when the data are pulled and the metrics that can be used as a signal for the churn prediction. So here I'm going to pull number of sessions, average bounce rate, average session length, average pay views per session, average time on each page, and all this will be aggregated by client ID, group by client ID. Then after selecting the attributes, I click on get data to the table so Supermetric can pull the data in a few seconds. So here we have the data of all the users in that date range. And now you can switch to Actable AI. After Active AI loaded, we see a list of data analytics one can use. Here, I'm going to choose classification as we want to classify a user to be a churn or not a churn. Before we can build a prediction model, we need to build the label uh, from the data first. So here, I'm going to add a column called churn. And the value of the column is true if number of session is 1 otherwise false so churn is total session is 1 otherwise uh, we consider it's a, not a churn yet it's, it's just um, in real life it's, we might want a different definition of churn here I'm going to make it a bit simplistic so for the purpose of demonstration so after you build the labels then you can uh, go back to Active AI, you choose classification, and then we need to reload the metadata at the column of the sheet by just click on this uh, button. And then the add on will update the metadata of the sheet. And then now you can churn as the prediction target. And you can choose predictors as like using number of sessions. Average bounce rate, average sessions length, average pay views per session, average time on page. And then you click run. Then Active AI will train a machine learning model. If there are empty values in this column, then it will also generate the position for these empty cells. And after it's finished, it will generate a validation sheet so one can see how well the model works and also the prediction if there are empty shell in this column. It will take a couple of minutes for the machine learning to finish. So here I'm going to show a result um, that was previously generated for the demonstration purpose. So here is the validation sheet where you can see different metric of the model including accuracy of the model you see in about 90% uh, different other metrics including AUC etc. You can also see the bounce rate, the feature is important. Here we see that bounce rate 
seem to be the most predictive um, feature from the list. And then average land and average page views. Average time on a page doesn't really give us any predictive power given that other features are present. So we know that bounce rate is really important and we would like to improve this one. Here we see the ROC curve on the right and it shows the prediction for the validation data. So here we choose to split the validation data by 80 and 20 percent, meaning, meaning that we spend 80 percent of the training data training the model and use the rest for validating the model. So here we see the original result and the predicted uh, predict, predict result with the probabilities. So in this video, I show you how to use Supermetric and ActiveAI to pull the data from Google Analytics and build a churn prediction model in less than 10 minutes. Thank you.